Saturday, the 28th of May, 2022, Scrappy Murphy's in Birmingham, 7 p.m. Be there. The Chronicles of Podcast Live. Tickets on sale now. Go to www.ctickets.com. It's about getting into schools and talking to young people because, you know, I, I know that people can change. Uh, and, it, and it's about talking to people and getting them to understand and perhaps step back from violence and, and prejudice and whatever. And we just need to work together and keep on the good fight there. Absolutely. Hey there, guys. We are ecstatically happy to announce that we are associated with the Sophie Lancaster Foundation. The times are changing, and with the unfortunate death of Sophie, those changes have made a massive impact for the future. If Sophie was with us still today, I can guarantee what you are doing will still be reaching so many lives of young teenagers, young adults, and those who wish to be as different as possible. So thank you very much. To find out more about this incredible foundation and all the work they do, and more importantly, how you can help, head on over to www.sophielancasterfoundation.com. Hi, I'm Jess Wild. I'm a sexpert, and you're listening to the Chronicles of Podcast with Tom and Jamie. I'm told to wave it, yeah? Get your left up. So your left, put it right there. That's it. La- right, left hand. It is in this vicinity of the screen. Throughout the right. Put it in this vicinity of the screen. There you've got your left here and your right here. And you shake it from side to side. Welcome to the next edition of the Chronicles of Podcast. The 37th? The 37th edition of the Chronicles of Podcast. And I believe, Jamie, these are the Chronicles of Just Wild, right? They are. They are indeed. Wonderful. Should we get the show on the road? I think we definitely should. Wonderful. I still enjoy driving. Hit it! Hello, everybody, and welcome to the 37th edition of the Chronicles of Podcast. Are the Chronicles of Jess Wild? It is I, the bearded Brummy Jamie, and joining me as ever is this handsome devil over here. It's the Scotsman Tom, and I'm so happy you went back to the high pitch. I am I so you. happy. We got most of it in there as well, so it was pretty, uh, pretty stellar. Pretty fucking stellar, that is, son. Love it. All we right. Try, we tried all last week. It didn't work. It's fine. Yeah, exactly. Um, but still, I had a thought today, Jamie, right? Ooh. Um, does anybody really listen to the radio anymore? Um, I think some people do. Becky listens to it when she's working from home. Okay. I think it's more of a background noise thing. So I suppose if you put your own music on, you're like, oh, I want to listen to this now. I want to listen to this now. Yeah, I suppose because people have the freedom to listen to whatever the fuck they like. Uh, the, the beauty of Spotify and Apple Music, etc. But radio just seems to be a dying art, I feel. Um, maybe not so much on the sports side of things. Maybe it's designed for other things now. But um, the other half had Heart Radio on the way home earlier today. Um, they were talking about um, bad roast Easter dinners. Okay. Uh, people that had, had fucked up their Easter dinners. And I was like, is this what it's come to? <laughs> like, is this what radio has come to? Like... <laughs> oh, text it. It tells all about your shit Easter roast dinners. Why? Yeah, who's why? who's there going? Oh my god, I can't wait to hear about this. <laughs> like it's just so odd, isn't it? I think if we're having this conversation today, I was talking to someone at work about it. They were putting the, the radio on, like in the office while they were doing something, and they were saying yesterday on 
Easter, apparently they, they had Radio 1 request show, whatever you request, we'll play it. And apparently they played the Thomas the Tank Engine theme like six times. What? Because people requested it. Just right. What just the classic more. or the shit new one? I wondered that. I was like, are we going do 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 or the one with words, which granted I know the words, but I won't embarrass myself. Okay, because I, I didn't I don't know. I say I got kids. two, they're four, they're six, they're eight. Oh, I couldn't resist. That's it's just it's just a bit nuts. I just I love that <laughs> simple plan of screw with you, which I quite like. Yes. But it, it just blows my mind. It's like someone will forget the gravy, did someone overboil the potatoes, like who gives a shit? <laughs> Who genuinely cares? Oh, I wonder, I wonder how people are there roast dinner over in Kent. I'm really curious to know how roast dinner was in Kent. I really want to know. Hopefully someone from Kent calls in. I could just grow up. <laughs> Who gives a... Do you reckon that the presenters go, so what's on the agenda? That, oh, really? You, you, <laughs> Brian, you want me to ask about roast dinners? Are you, for, are you for real? Fucking hell. I spent thousands of pounds on a fucking uni degree in media to ask people who bollocks their roast dinner. Slow, slow, slow day? It's a, <sighs> it's a family day. No one's going to be listening to the radio. Just say any old shite. I suppose it's better than people, you know, asking what roadkill you've seen on the motorway, yeah. <laughs> Because <Right. laughs> like, that didn't go down well last week when we asked that question. <laughs> Oh, my name's Dave, and I've seen a few badgers and a fox. I know that because I've got them myself. I thought, <laughs> what are you doing on road? No way, you, you don't belong on the road. No, I'm, I'm going to have you here as a bastard. I'm king at road, I'll fucking show you. Mm, badger don't taste very nice. <laughs> oh. Sorry to any vegans listen to this. Um, so, <laughs> Jamie, how are you doing? I'm very well. I've been quite sleepy this week because I've been I've been on early, so I've been up at five a.m. every bloody day. But other than that, yeah, pretty good, pretty good. That's, that's disgusting. That yeah. is disgusting. But they're over because now I'm on nights after my two days off. Watch you wake up at four thirty-five in the morning tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Knowing my fucking look, which reminds me, coming on from last week, let's make sure to turn my alarm off tomorrow, shall we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's probably a wise <laughs> idea. Yeah. I know what you're thinking as well. Oh, do you? Oh, my God, it's gone back to a cap. Like, oh, do you know what? It. I didn't even notice that. Beanie Weather is gone. Beanie Weather. Beanie's had his time. He's appreciates it. You will see Beanie for the final time on this interview coming this week. Uh, but, yeah, the cap is back. So we're back to cap weather now. So cap's going to revitalise his image for the next six months or so. And then Beanie will make a return. No, it's okay. It's okay. So we've got the whole summer to enjoy Stevens in a cap. And then you get to go back to the autumn winter time for Stevens and a beanie. So if you're watching about way back Wednesdays so and you're wondering to yourself, what time of year was this filmed, I wonder? Now you know how to work it out. <laughs> if it's spring or summer, Tom's in a cap. If it's, winter, <laughs> it's autumn or winter, Tom's in a beanie. So, you know, that's how you can tell your seasons. What season is it? Stevens is in a cap. Yes, yeah, so it's definitely spring. Welcome to Stevens Seasons. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Summer, spring, stiff autumn, and <laughs> winter. <laughs> Welcome to Stephen Seasons. I don't know why Stwinter really amused me. Or even better, Stephen Seasons. <laughs> <laughs> we'll enjoy oh. spring. Oh, anyway, how are you? How are you? Mm. I want to apologise first and foremost to anybody who listened to last week's show. I was very, I was so tired last week. I was not, I was just not asked. So I'm really sorry to anybody who listened to it. I apologise to the guests as well. And anyone that listened to the show last week, I am so sorry. I was not with it at all. I don't uh, think I was on top form last week, let's be honest. So I want to hold my hands up and profusely apologise before I came back with hopefully with some absolute doozies and some bangers this week for you straight off the bat. But Jamie, yeah. yes, I sir. am not too bad, thank you. Um, I'm a little tired um, because I thought it would be a great idea to agree to overtime, um, which meant that I've worked the entire bank holiday weekend. Same. <laughs> so I, I'm like, huh? So what's this then? 
<laughs> Babe, it's 4 30 in the morning. What are you doing? What's going on? <laughs> the gym, yeah, I'm down. <laughs> Why it's, did I do this? It's just mental. Um, yeah, so I've been feeling pretty knacked, but not too bad. Um, we've got some uh did we no we interviewed we interviewed before the show last week. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah. We did. Ignore me. Ignore me. I'm, I, I see. I've even forgot what the fuck's going on now. Is, is this Earth? <laughs> to be uh, fair, I've been like, what have I done since we last recorded? I have no fucking idea. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's that point, isn't it? But um, yeah. So hopefully you all enjoyed the show way better, way more than last week's. But thank you so much to the guys last week for sharing the show. We we appreciate you so, so much. Um, so thank you. Yeah, we've had a lot of views on last week's video. So people that checked that out and people, if any of you stuck around, which I hope, then welcome. Welcome to the 37th edition of the Chronicles of Podcast. Jess Wilde is in the, is in the building. It's in the, it's in the Why do people do that? I don't know. It's in the fucking house. <laughs> okay, are you all right? Did you always, Elon, are you Australian? Are you elongate your words or? Um, but still, Jamie Westwood, Hello. what have you been doing with yourself, my friend? Well, mostly the work, any work, any work, work, work. I did that all over bank holiday weekend, same as you, all those disgusting half six to half twos. But they've been all right, to be fair. It's not it's just been cracking on, cracking on at work, as they say. So I didn't really do much for Easter because obviously I've been at work. But we've got the kids staying tomorrow oh, when nice. we record. So we've set up like a little Easter egg hunt and stuff like that. Olivia did some bits at her nan's yesterday, but... We're going to do like one with all three of them tomorrow and whatnot. So we'll properly celebrate it then. You don't we'll, see the oldest anymore, do you? Say again, sorry? You don't see the oldest anymore, do you? Very rarely. <laughs> he's, he's off living with his girlfriend. No comments. No, I know that face, Stevens. <laughs> no comments. <laughs> Mate, we've got a sex button building this week, so, you know. Doesn't mean my teenage son needs to be involved in this conversation. He's old enough. Shut it. Shut it. Um, and... Wednesday, obviously I'm talking about stuff we're doing, not that we're going to do, but we're going to go see the new Fantastic Beasts movie because Lena is a little bit Harry Potter obsessed. And saying that, so is the wife. So it's going to be a good day. Um, Other than what have I done? Not a lot, in all honesty. I finished Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. It is done. And really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed that final season. I don't know why I got a bad mouth. It was good. That final episode, tugs at your heartstrings. It's a really good episode. So you need to finish it, Mr. Stevens. I will at some point. Um, what else have I been doing? I started a new book. Oh. I'm currently reading Simon Pegg's autobiography. Okay. I like, I've, I've had it for years. When I used to work at the bookshop, I brought it then, and then I put it on the shelf and never picked it up again. <laughs> so, ah. As I'm reading now, I thought, I should probably actually read that one, shouldn't I? Um, but other than that, yeah, really not a lot this week. I've really not been doing a lot um the other thing something that happened today and it really pissed me off so i wanted to bring it to you do you hate it when people want to make a point to you so they feel the need to ask you a question even though they already know the answer okay keep going so i got to work today and one of my supervisors decided to have a go at me for something that was outside of work so he literally just went you're a cyclist aren't you jamie i was like yeah you went what do you do when you get to a red light i was like i normally stop why he went then why do you go for a red light when you're on the way to work this morning? I'm a cyclist as well. You give us a bad night. I was like, so you know I went for a red light, so you felt the need to ask me what I do. If you know the answer, why are you asking me a question, you twit? That really angered me. <laughs> but what, yeah, as in why did you just come out and be like, why did you go for the red light earlier? Yeah, just say, also oh, on the way to work this morning, how can you run away for a red light? You shouldn't do that. It gives people like us a bad night. Was he stroking his dick at the same time? He might have been. He was under a desk. Yeah, mm. yeah, he wasn't stroking on on his forehead either. Yeah, that kind of angered me this morning. I'm not gonna lie. six o'clock in the morning. I don't need this. <laughs> yes. I'm still trying to wake up, mate. But yeah, I've really not done a lot this week. Nothing exciting. What about you? Well, it's a good question. It's a very good question. I watched The Founder. I've heard Keaton, of that Michael Keaton movie about the birth of McDonald's and how it became to be McDonald's. Based on true story, really good. Highly recommend. <laughs> Fucking mental as well. Um, what happens? So, um, what's his face? Uh, Offerman, the guy from Parks and Rec. I know the sir. Nick. Nick Offerman. Nick Offerman. He is one of the main characters oh. uh, with Michael Keaton. It's really, really good. Highly recommend. People watch the founders on Now TV for anybody that's got Now TV. 
Um, so I watched that over the weekend. Uh, I went to the uh, other half's mother's yesterday for Easter dinner, um, and I mowed her lawn um, because I was nice like that. Um, Did anyone because... ruin the dinner? Radio guy wants to know. Uh, no, <laughs> it was absolutely, it was tre delicioso. Um, it was so nice that I ate a lot, as I always do. I'm like a human dustbin. Um, <laughs> and then I took the other half's old bed apart. So obviously I told you when we first moved in, on the day we moved, her, her bed fell apart when we got up. Yes, you did. Like, yes, you did. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, yeah. It was like a sign. It was like, it's time to move now, guys. <laughs> uh, so I unscrewed everything. I, I split all the wooden half and stuff. So it went to the tip today um, just to help out. So I did a lot of clearing really yesterday, a lot of work around the, uh, the half's mum's house. It was a really nice, really nice day. Um, it was the only day off I got over Easter. So um, I've been doing a lot of re-entering. Uh, my other day off was Thursday last week, and I did absolute sweet fuck all. Oh, those are the good days. Off. And it was brilliant. I've been gymming, been gyming. Um, other than that, uh, the other half started Chicago Med. I've been doing some exams. Um, to try and get them done, really get them get them flown through. So I mentioned the little golden ticket scheme at work as well. No, you didn't. Where we win, the you're gonna do certain things to win golden tickets. It lasts for three months, and the winner gets a holiday to the Caribbean, all expenses paid. Nice. The Caribbean, a Mediterranean cruise, or an Icelandic trip. Ooh. Iceland, we can Iceland. It's all paid for. So I'm like, uh, everyone is like busting their ass with these golden tickets. <laughs> um, I, was, I was over the weekend. I was in second place. Ooh. But I don't know where I am now. But that doesn't matter. The amount doesn't matter because it's all drawn out of a hat. So you have fucking. Lo- so the more you have, the more chance you have of winning. That's oh, it's it one of those sort of things. Oh, yeah. okay. Which I think is genius because it's it's easier on some departments to get them than in others. Mm. So, um, is this so for yeah, your store or is this like as a company or, or yeah. for the whole Cardiff cluster? The whole so Cardiff all five cluster. Cardiff stores. Yeah. So us versus Leck with us, Albany Road versus Phoenician versus Panath. It's nuts. It's all, uh, winner take, winner take all. <laughs> um, but it's lows with the prizes too. But the half was like, if you win, I think I'll cry. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine being in the Caribbean. I'll come back as like a prune. I'll just be the most burnt crisp you've ever seen. The reason she's going to cry is because you're going to take me, right? So anyway, that's a that's a competition <laughs> that <we're> doing. Uh, <laughs> can you imagine it's in the Caribbean? Fucking hell. Be amazing. Where's my episode of the Chronicles of Podcast this week? Um <laughs> so yeah, man. Other than that, like I've caught the wrestling, so I'm watching I'm really enjoying it, weirdly. I don't know why. It's one of those things I was like, I love watching this again, but why? Because it's still exactly the fucking same. <laughs> this is shit, but I love it. <laughs> Yeah, and obviously they've announced the pay-per-view for the 3rd of September in Cardiff, so I'm like, yes. Yes. That's going to be fucking grandioso, grandioso, yeah. Si, yeah, grazie mille. Um, so yeah, man, and we've got some guests coming up on here, so I'm quite excited for that. Um, but other than that, not a lot not a lot really going on, to be fair. We've had a couple of quiet weeks, haven't we? We've not really had a lot to report the past few weeks. Not massively, but watched a lot of Daddy. Oh, that's been... That's been amazing. Um, the, obviously, the new one's out tonight. Yes. Well, when this goes out, it's out on Monday night. And then he's off for a week again, you fucking bastard. Um, but I really want that show aired. Oh, that that killed me. Because obviously, we had that conversation not long ago about bits in jams and spreads <laughs> yeah. and all that stuff. And then we're watching that and he's like, I want my show with, with Pulse. And I was just like, this is brilliant. And that's why I messaged you. I was like, have you watched it? I need to talk to you about this. For people that don't know, please go watch last week tonight with John Oliver because you won't be disappointed. And you get to see a decaf pit bull. So just... <laughs> oh, oh, that was so great. <laughs> but still. But yes. Um, we're all cut up, Jamie. And I do yeah. believe... Uh, oh. I do believe that we've had an update to the old Stay Cozy advert. We have our friend, Braden Barry. You have come through, my friend. Shall we hear from our friends at Stay Cozy? Oh, yes, we shall. Enjoy! 
All right. Is this thing on? Well, howdy doody, everybody. This is Braden Barry from Say We Can Fly, founder of Stay Cozy Clothing. Your one-stop shop for the coziest, most fashionable hoodies, t-shirts, and more. Gorsh, Mickey. That's right, folks. And we're proud to say that we are now sponsoring... The Chronicles of Podcast. Ouch. Hosted by Tom and Jamie. <laughs> like, you can get 10% off, man. That's right, Shaggy. Just use the special code, The Chronicles, at checkout. Oh, boy. Oh. Jamie. Hello, sir. Did you enjoy that? I did. It was absolutely wonderful. <laughs> Guess what? What? It's now time for Callum's Street Chits. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to know something? Callum will be able to tell you. And Callum's treachings. It's cereal soup. Ooh. <laughs> the boy is back again. By the way, Mr. Treacher, while I was editing last week's episode, I realised in your video you are looking hencher than ever. You are going to fill the screen soon. He's a big boy, eh? He is. <laughs> Callum, the unit treacher. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking tank. Yeah. He's a big boy. But Jamie. Yes. What is Callum treaching us this week? Billions of neurons fire in our brains simultaneously, only for us to sometimes get things wrong. <laughs> I did it earlier, talking about that. I did it earlier uh, when I was at work. I did a collection for this lady and I just went, <laughs> she went to leave and I went to say, take case. I went to say, take case up and look after yourself at exactly the same time. So I went, what's that there? Did yourself? And she stood there and went, I didn't know okay. Welsh. <laughs> yeah. It was literally just a miss. And I was like, I was sitting there going, I'm not going to look up. I was like, bye. Because <laughs> I realised, I went, what the fuck did I just say? <laughs> Do I suck up a small goat and then tick on my asshole? Like, it's, like... <laughs> it's probably to her. She probably went, the fuck? <laughs> What's wrong with this place? <laughs> oh, I love that. That's amazing. Obviously, yeah. you see you see these videos and it's like a picture of the brain and all the synapses firing, like, oh, it does magical things for us to do shit like that. And... <laughs> That's fucking brilliant. I love that. Oh, it is great, but yeah. Oh, it's like... Two plus two is definitely six. The fuck is wrong with you? Oh, I love that when you're so adamant someone's right. And then a yeah. few minutes later, you're like, what am I talking about? <laughs> I am so sorry. I am such an idiot. <laughs> but Jamie. Yes. What else is Callum treating us this week? Rednecks are typically depicted in media as having a mullet. Um, yeah. If you think about it, Having a mullet would often prevent having a red neck. <laughs> My favourite treaches are the ones where you're listening to it like, where the fuck is this going? <laughs> it's got a point though, unless it'd be very strandy, wouldn't it? You have a stranded red neck, I suppose, but that is great. I don't even want to touch that to be part of it, Jamie. <laughs> He's, but again, Mr. Trucho, you're absolutely right. Because, you know, the hair's covering the neck. You ain't getting a red neck. <laughs> why are they called red necks? Is that exactly why they're called that? I don't really know, to be honest. I've always wondered that. Mental. But a That's mullet is great. I'm glad mullets still exist in some parts of the world. They're I mean, I, I, I can't grow hair, so. Well, <laughs> I'm pretty certain I had almost a mullet when I was a child, to be fair. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> I get that weird horseshoe head. It goes on the sides and back. It just doesn't grow on top. I'm like, ah, oh, yeah. Ah, I could be a monk if I wanted. <laughs> I could look like I've never slept with a woman in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I don't understand? The people that have the strands and comb them over. No, just, just, just admit defeat. Shave it. The best one I've ever seen, again, was at work. He'd wrapped it round <laughs> and, then had it as a, and then had it as a ponytail. Oh, Jamie, it was amazing. It was bloody weird, but it was amazing. He literally had, a, had it was all on the side, so he'd wrapped it round his head and then had it as a ponytail. Why? Exactly. Just shave it off. Just admit defeat. <laughs> You've got no air left. Just, just to, do it gracefully. Yeah, exactly. Just, just jo- join us. 
Joy, you know you want to join the bold community, just join us. That's great. Bold's in these days. Anyway, people like bold. To be fair, yeah. So, you know, come on, Matt. You know you want to join me too. <laughs> and finally, what is Callum treating us this week? If you plug an electric fan into a socket that's powered by wind turbines, then you're effectively transporting wind. That is another Callum Stoner thought, that is. That's I what just, that is. How the hell does he come up with this shit? <laughs> I, it really blows my mind sometimes like that fan. you never think of things that way ever. <laughs> that's what I mean. That's what I just, that's why those sort of ones, I just look at him, I just think to myself, is he stoned? Because that is a proper stoner thought. That really, it's, yeah, oh. it's like, it's like, a, like a grade Z <laughs> Captain Planet. <laughs> Wind! Wait, wait, plug it in. <laughs> More wind! <laughs> you could pretend to be Storm for a bit, couldn't you? It's just... It's really... Bl- the reason I'm, I'm, I'm sucking off is this is like, fuck. Like, he's got me. I don't know what to say. He so, stumped us this week. They're super, but you just can't touch them because they're just... No. What can you add to that? You realise, guys, for all of you coming on May 28th, you get this live. We haven't even announced that yet. You're getting this live on May 28th. Like, like just, yeah. I can't wait. Normally. I literally can't wait. He's done it again. Callum, I bow down to you. He also says that he loves you. So he put love you and Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> and that love you too, Callum. was another edition of Callum Street Chins. And now I feel a bit like shit. Do you know why, Jamie? Why? Because it's time for Tom's journal. Yeah, it is. And welcome to another edition of Tom's journal. And I always like go, fuck, I gotta follow this. (laughs) But you won't be smashing out the park, sir. Well, well, we'll see, won't we? I, I, there are some classics in it this week. So I'll start with this one, which was actually a very serious thing I saw on this morning on Lorraine. So you remember I was talking about like radio shows and how they are just as they want to spend more, they've got some real shit stories on there. I saw this morning or Lorraine, whichever one it was, there's a lady on there that wants to make staring a crime. Staring. What? Now, I understand that probably guys go, oh, I love you. I was... <laughs> it, 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 there's obviously a line where it's a bit, it gets a little bit ridiculous. I was say, there needs to be some context here, really. <laughs> well, I, there was no volume on, so I couldn't hear what she was saying. It just said, woman wants to make staring a crime, whatever her name was, wants to make staring a crime. And I was just like, really? Because surely then they would call it observing instead. Well, <laughs> I wasn't staring, your officer. I was... Observing intently. Yeah, or looking. I (laughs) just... I get that the world's shit, and I get that there's people out there, you know, rapists, murderers, all that sort of stuff, but you're literally going to be taking human rights away completely soon. There's going to be nothing left. We're not even going to say the anymore. (laughs) Or and. You'd be knackered at your job, wouldn't you? Could you please... um... Look at those and tell me what the letters say. I can't stare at those. That's illegal. Yeah, it's just like <laughs> it's just nuts. It's just really nuts. Um, so that that made yeah. me be like, you know, yeah. I understand why, but it's getting to that point where it's like, this is getting ridiculous now. This is getting really fucking silly. Yeah. How about we just deal with the people that stare intently and make people feel uncomfortable instead of just banning staring as a thing. What about daydreaming then? What happens then? I was going to say, how would you even police that? <laughs> exactly. It's just fucking ridiculous, mate. <laughs> but still, this really made me fucking laugh. And I couldn't, I wanted to take a photo, but it was too obvious. I was in the gym, right? And a guy had put two huge me- uh, kettlebells around his waist on, a, on the, the lifting belt thing, yeah? Hmm. But they had fallen between his legs. 
on a chain. It just looked like massive bollocks. You're going to say he hurt himself then, Jesus. He was literally doing pull-ups. And I was like, from behind, it's like, this is like two massive testicles hanging from these shots. <laughs> that is fucking brilliant. And it's so funny. I was like, in the child of me, I was like, I want to take a photo of that. Just because it's so fucking funny. To be fair, I would too. He literally wrapped his legs around him. So I was like, that looks great. Like, that is fucking amazing. You just turn around, going, nice bollocks, mate. <laughs> oh, I like your bollocks. <laughs> But still, we move on, Jamie, to we the do. pictures. Let's get to the pictures, shall we? Go on. Let's then. get to the bit you're all really here for. Not if me fucking rambling on. Jamie. Hello. The early bird gets the worm. But the late bird just gets a slightly worse worm. There's worms <laughs> everywhere. Do you know what? Who cares? Sleep late. Do not let the worms dictate your lifestyle. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like that. Yeah. I've never thought I'd hear an inspirational quote about being lazy. I like it. Yeah, fuck it. It's good. I like it. Those worms will still be around. Who cares? Oh, Jamie. My boss fucking hates it when I shorten his name to Dick, especially because he's called Steve. (laughs) (laughs) I like that. Yeah. This one will be appreciated by your family, mainly your wife. Okay. Voldemort. I'm here to kill Harry Potter. Struggling to open the baby gate. James Potter, <laughs> push down, then pull back. Voldemort, <laughs> I, I am. Lily Potter, jiggle it. You need to jiggle it. Voldemort, I am jiggling it. God, you know what? Forget it. I'll come back when he's 10. <laughs> I could picture it and it makes it funnier. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you'd appreciate that. I was very oh, happy oh, I found that one. Yeah, <laughs> this I thought was fucking amazing. Instead of Jamie at a do list, call it side quests <laughs> at the top to make it seem more fun and interesting. And boy, that won't work at all. <laughs> I like that. The fact I have someone right next to me that says to-do list, I'm changing that to side quests. Change the side quests, all right? I'm going to change it. Right. This is one for you. Oh, okay. Loving the idea of earth cryptids slash folklore monsters being real. Only the humans have no idea until after first contact. This is a Star Trek reference, okay? Okay. Vulcans. Our scientists have questions about the small nocturnal portion of your population that drinks blood and appears virtually immortal. Is there a name for this subspecies? Humans. The what? (laughs) Klingon ambassador. We have noticed your Starfleet has no officers who are Gwangba Chaldak Tiha Dathlod. Why would you recruit such fine and obviously powerful members of your population? Terran ambassador. I'm sorry, what? The translator isn't catching that phrase. Klingon ambassador, your Kongba Chaldak Tiha Dat Lod. You know, the ones who change with your lunar cycles. Terran ambassador's assistant, Kongba Chaldak Tiha Dat Lod. The, the wolf men. Terran ambassador, the what? <laughs> Bajorans? <laughs> Bajoran. Bajorans. We are very curious about why you have exiled the subspecies of the large extremities to the woods. Humans. I'm sorry, what? Bajorans. The hairy people with the big feet? Humans. <laughs> huh? Bajorans. Homo erectus? The uh, Sasquatchy? Background human cadet wearing Mothman boxes under their uniform. I fucking knew it! <laughs> That's one for any Star Trek fans out there. I like that. I had no fucking clue what I was reading, to be honest. I was going to say, you reading Klingon might be my new favourite thing I've ever seen. Oh, really? Oh, I love that. I probably Especially... fucked it up royally. It weren't actually that far off, really, how they make it sound. Just oh. slightly more aggressive and you might have been there. Cry that Quamba. That was really good. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck it means, but it sounded right. Um, One day... I really hope to believe in myself as much as Harry Potter believes Draco Malfoy is responsible for literally everything that goes wrong ever. 
Accurate. Accurate. <laughs> this one really made me laugh. When you're in your 30s, but you have to Google internet slang to stay in the loop. That's that's Google. Me and my home fry here would like to be in your possum. It's funny because it's true. I've had to like this phrases and shit I've heard like whether from the kids or TikTok or wherever, and it's like, the fuck does that even mean? Yeah, I have absolutely no idea. So I think, oh, what was it? When someone over, watch something that's like, oh, I ship those two. I was like, the fuck does that mean? Yeah, I, I, I give up with all the I really... fucking 20 odd year olds that I work with. I'm like, yeah, I fine. don't know anymore. That sounds great, whatever you just said. I'll have four. Can't you just bump your fists together and say safe? I know what that means. Miss those days. We should bring that back. This, Jamie. I'm going to end on this. Blew my mind, but also made me be like, we've really got to that point in life where this is now a thing. These three tweets, four tweets, are from Kanye West fans. Oh, Jesus Christ, where is this going? (sighs) So, let's begin, shall we? Let's strap in, folks. Who the fuck is Paul McCartney? This is why why I love Kanye, for shining light on unknown artists. Oh, God. Another one. Who is this Paul McCartney? He about to blow up, thanks to Kanye. Oh, Jesus. I don't know who Paul McCartney is, but Kanye is going to give this man a career with this new song. I, too, would like to partake in all the love for Kanye. It's so great that you can do this for Paul McCartney. Such such a solid. Everybody's got to start somewhere. I really hope that's satire. I beg that satire. I it, beg, it, beg, beg. What I can that's... see here is a genuine post. Oh, Jesus Christ, what is wrong with people? I'm not going to more that. upsetting. Those tweets or the fact that Paul McCartney did a song with Kanye. Yeah, I know, but they get to that point now in life where people don't know who these classic stars are. It's fair. I me- actually, I remember seeing someone similar when Ozzy Osbourne did a song with Post Malone. That's also that was also in there. Yeah, I remember that, and people were like, "I don't know who this Ozzy guy is, but Post Malone's going to do wonders for him." We're like, really? <laughs> I think people need to educate themselves a little bit better. I want to end on this one, Jamie, instead because it's funny okay. and it's okay. relevant to Easter. Oh, okay, that works. Jesus died for our sins. Okay, but he didn't stay dead, did he? <laughs> so what exactly did he sacrifice? Jesus gave up his weekend for your sins. <laughs> <laughs> oh, controversial journal. Love it. And that was another edition of Tom's Journal. And a glorious journal it was. I enjoyed that one. I enjoyed that one very much. Thank you very much, sir. Um, do you need Frank, yeah, before I bring the piece in? Oh, we definitely need to hear from Frank. My week's not complete unless I do. Hey there, I'm Frank Guglielmelli, and I'm the narrator for the audio drama feed. Featuring such audio dramas as Bounty Hunters, Marty and Mars, Val Toby, and so much more. You can find all of these wonderful programs on Spotify or wherever you listen to podcasts. Or you can go to our website at www.audiodramafeed.com. We are thrilled to be affiliated with the Chronicles of Podcast with Tom and Jamie. That's right, guys. Go and check out Audio Drama Feed for all your audio drama needs. Val Toby, Bounty Hunters, Marty and Mars, and Starlight Phineas. Season two of Val Toby still in production. I will announce that as soon as that is available and going to be released. Mr. Stevens. Uh, yes, sire. It's audience participation time. Let's participate. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to participate in Jamie's participation challenge. This week, I said in honour of our guest, I asked the question, if you were to describe yourself as a sex toy, what would it be and why? So I'd probably be that blown up doll because when I was a kid, I got bullied for the fact that I was having my mouth wide open. (laughs) 
That's a genuine story. And I don't mind talking about this stuff. That's fucking brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> I'm full of hot air. My mouth's always fucking wide open for no reason whatsoever. And I'll put anything in me, so it's fine. <laughs> I've you? decided I'll be a butt plug just because I'm a massive pain in the ass. Seems seems fitting. Fair. Fair. Yeah. We got some wonderful answers to this. Some funny, some raunchy, some ridiculous. So I think we'll start with a raunchy one, shall we? Mr. Leon Daniel says, I would be an endoscope. Why? Because I love being submissive, especially for anything downstairs, and just want to push my face all the way in it, regardless if it's a wonderful vagina or a gorgeous bumhole. Just shrink me up and let me live in there. AKA, call me Mr. Endoscope. Fair enough. Fair play, Done. Leon. Fair play. Done. That is what you'll now be called. <laughs> Wesley Pike says, I'm going to be called Short Buzz, because I'm short. <laughs> oh, I was waiting for the buzz part. <laughs> Uh, like bees <laughs> yeah that, that's what it is uh, Jojo says a butt plug mainly because I, I feel like shit oh <laughs> <laughs> Leanne Victoria says she will be an eyegasm and I had to ask what the fuck is an eyegasm so apparently it is an, a vibrator that Ann Summers marketed a while ago that you basically used it went to the vibrations, moved to the tunes of music. Right. I was like, why will you be one of them? So she basically said, I've got a deep singing voice and it can make people climax. Oh, right. Okay. Fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> Graham Arnold. Oh, God. <laughs> Godlike, hard pumping, pneumatic orgasmatron with piano like finger playing dexterity, a tongue feature like a conga eel, comes in all shapes and sizes. Why would I describe myself that way? Well, I wouldn't want to be a liar and don't believe in false advertising. Sadly, ladies, no longer available on the open market. Fuck so. <laughs> it's the most Graham answer in the world. <laughs> Joe Day says, I would be a candy thong. Sweet, but not always the most practical. <laughs> Great answer. <laughs> uh, I've saved my two favourites to last, and typically they're very self-deprecating, but they really made me laugh. Ollie Roiland says I'd probably be the one with dead batteries, I imagine. <laughs> and Alan Carr says a broken flashlight because I'm a useless twat. <laughs> oh, Alan Carr's answering our show, is he? Not the chatty man. Not the chatty oh, man. What okay, makes me laugh is his, I think it was his Twitter handle used to be at not the chatty man. <laughs> Amazing. That's great. <laughs> that is a genius Twitter handle. But well, yeah, just incredible answers. They really made me laugh. Brilliant. We really appreciate everybody that participates in our audience participation challenges, listens to our interviews, joins in with Tom's journal, listens to Callum's teachings, and all the other bollocks that we talk at the start of the show. But you can go back and check out 36 other editions of the Chronicles of Podcast wherever you want. Spotify, Google, Apple, go, go check them out. I think we're on Matchmaker FM. I think we're elsewhere, loads of places. Just put in the Chronicles of Podcast in full and you'll find us wherever you want us. We'll be waiting for you. Don't you worry about that. You can also come and find us on our YouTube channel at the Chronicles of Podcast. Please hit that subscribe button. Please hit it. Hit the bell for notifications and comment as much as you would like. Just go nuts. Go crazy. Comment as much. Just comment. I'll even wait for you to comment right now. This show's going to be about five years long. You can also come and find us on... Oh, no, wait, hang on. Before I jump, I just jumped ahead there. I do apologise, ladies and gentlemen. Also on our YouTube is a bunch of hashtag WBW Way Back Wednesdays, which are old episodes from our old channel released every single Wednesday at 6pm this week. The Chronicles of For the Love of Wrestling. Hopefully you got your tickets to go down to Liverpool to go and meet all those wonderful, wonderful people that we grew up with. What absolute legends. You can also find us on Facebook at The Chronicles of Podcast. Jamie, do you know where else you can find us? In Summers, in Ann Summers, standing at the back, giggling over the dildos. Is that what we're doing? That's what I'm doing. Okay, but you can also find us on the Twitter. Oh, will we? At TCO Pod. Do you know where else you can find us, Jamie? Uh, in the supermarket, looking at eggs, thinking, should I just use this or buy lube? Or on the Insta. 
Graham. All that, all that, that makes sense too. Mm. At TCO Pod. You can also find us on the TikTok at TCO Pod. Jamie is making some unbelievable videos at the moment on there. Uh, so please come follow and check those out. Uh, you can also finally come to this wonderfully, beautifully, gorgeously sexy, and incredibly lovely and brilliant new website at www.thechroniclesofpodcast.com. You can find all of our shows on there, all of our us on there, all of our sponsors are on there. Stay cozy, the Sophie Lancaster Foundation and audio drama feed. The Chronicles of Podcast. Downloaders, reviewers, sharers, raters, tell all of your friends about us. Uh, allow us into your ears. But guys, right, most importantly, when listening to us, always use egg whites as lube and tell Jamie exactly how you used it and how you rubbed it on. Tell him every single detail because apparently he finds rubbing egg on your cock weird. (laughs) You know, you just made it sound so much weirder by saying it like that, right? (laughs) At Jay Westwood eighty six on Instagram, in, in, DM him right and tell him all about your eggy experience. Do you want some eggs, Benedict, Jamie? <laughs> oh God! How am I supposed to do the serious bit now? Focus. I was really proud of that. I was like, joking. You should be. That's amazing. <laughs> Right, before we get out of here, we have to say a massive thank you to our friends. Did you know every single bit of music you hear on this show is delivered to us by Mr. Matt Roberts at Matt Roberts Music. You can find all of his music on Spotify. And while you're there, why not leave him a belated birthday message? Absolutely. Because why not? Happy birthday, Matt. Love you. Also, you can check out staycozyclothing.com. Come or download their app. Go to their website, add one of every single little thing to your basket, and then use that discount code The Chronicles and get yourself 10% off your entire order. You heard earlier on in our brand new advert from Mr. Barry, which is possibly one of the greatest things I've ever heard in my life. When he sent it to us, I listened to it about five times on repeat because it's just fabulous. Also, check out Audio Drama Feed. Frank gave you all the details earlier, but go to there. Go download them. There's so much to choose from. Whatever you're into, whether it be crime, space dramas, superheroes, there's all sorts on there. There's all sorts. And last but not least, we tell you every single week to go and support the Sophie Lancaster Foundation to stamp out prejudice, hatred and intolerance everywhere. You would have seen earlier this week, I shared a news article from an incident that happened in Glasgow where two teenagers got bullied and picked on. And because why? Because they're goths. That's still happening today in 2022. And it is quite frankly, a fucking joke. And I was absolutely shocked and appalled when I saw that. So it is quite clear why this foundation exists because it's still happening today. So please support this foundation Help us spread that message because it's still clearly just as important now as it was when this horrible atrocity happened. And if you want to support them monetarily, do so through their store. We have a Just Giving link set up on our webpage. Go donate there. If you want to just share their page, share what they're doing. People might want to get involved. If you know any teachers or know someone that knows a teacher, pass on what they can do with their amazing workshops And let's spread this message out there because clearly in the world, there is still a lot of work to do. And talking about raising funds, if you're in the Birmingham area, and if you're not, if you buy a coach station or a train station, come on down to Birmingham, May 28th, Scruffy Murphy's. We are hosting the Chronicles of Podcast Live. We have four incredible bands playing. We've got Second Cities, Death is a Girl, Neptune Rain, and The Mighty Wraith. And all the proceeds from that are going to our friends here at the Sophie Lancaster Foundation. So please come on down, donate some money, have a laugh, have a couple of beers. And yeah, it's going to be an incredible night. So join us, please. Please do. Please get your tickets at ctickets.com. It's also available on our Facebook page at the Chronicles of Podcast Live. Jamie. Hello. What another wonderful episode. 
Yes, I think we redeemed ourselves for last week's sleep. I agree. Episode. I agree. It's been great. Jess, thank you so much again for taking the time out to sit down and talk to us. We just loved it. And I'm excited for people to hear this. So hopefully you all enjoyed it. Uh, and that's for this week. We're going to see you all next week. Goodbye, everybody. Bye! Bye.